We now return to the best of the best. Today joining us in the kitchen is Chef Dan Orvis of the Urban Enoteca Wine Bar at the Latham Hotel right here in Philadelphia. So Chef, welcome. Thanks Thank for you. joining us today. Thank What's going to be on the menu? Uh, I'm going to make uh, gnocchi today and uh, it's going to be sauteed with uh, pancetta, spinach, mushrooms and uh, then it's going to be topped with a pecorino cream sauce. Yum. First I'll start with um, baked uh, Yukon potato golds and um, what I do is I bake them off and then I basically just take them out take mm -hmm. up the center. So, I mean, if you're at home, you could always use, you know, your leftover potatoes. Okay. Then I'll take a couple um, egg yolks. And why just the yolks? Um, you just, you want it for a binder. Okay. You don't really want it, you don't need the whites. Mm -hmm. And then take a little salt and pepper. Make sure we season it correctly. Now, the, are the potatoes hot or should they be cold? Um, I prefer to do a cold. I find a better batter. When you do them hot, it, um, the batter's really spongy, so you don't get a okay. really, like, Good, uh, a good consistency with your gnocchi. Hmm. And then this is just grated Pecorino Romano. Take a little flour. Well, that's just a tiny bit of flour you're using. Yeah, you, you want to start with a little bit. You really want to put as least amount as possible. Okay. And then what was start. that last thing you put in? Oh, that was uh, nutmeg. A little nutmeg, yep. okay. So sort of a secret sense. ingredient. So tell me a little bit about uh, the restaurant you work at, Urban Indoteca. Um, we're brand new. Uh, they just renovated the whole hotel from top to bottom. They literally just stripped it took everything out. When I came in, floors were gone, everything was gone. Wow. So yeah, they redid everything. It was pretty neat. And then they put in a, a nice uh, wine on tap system. Oh, so, and that oh, works wine with, on tap. Yeah, it works with argon gas. That way you can put expensive wines by the glass and then you don't have to worry about spoilage or anything. Cause bottle, it, sure. Yeah, because it takes out the oxygen in there, so. It's a great concept. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, it's great for people to come and, you know, sit down and talk, meet after work, create a happy hour. We do a lot of small plates. We have a couple entrees, sandwiches, you know. Okay. So basically, you can come in and get anything you want. You get, a, you know, you get an appetizer, sandwich, or an entree. So it's a hotel also. What are the rooms like? Well, it's boutique, so okay. it's excellent service. And the rooms, you know, you have everything from your double king to your suite. Then you get great views of the city as well. It's got the whole modern look to it. So when I get this to about here, that's about like the width you want. Okay. You know, starting off, you just do them slow, you don't want to do them fast. So, so this is like, like a this. palette knife you have. Yeah, I mean, you can use whatever you want. I like uh -huh. this because it, you know, it works better. But yeah, I mean, this tool you could pick up at a hardwood store. Right, so. exactly. Yeah. You know, use that for spackle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. I'll drop so these wanna, in the you wall. want the dough to be a little bit tacky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you want to keep it. You want to keep it nice and light and airy. Mm -hmm. If if you get a tight dough, then you know you've put, put way they're too gonna much be flour. Real too dense and yeah, and... they're going to be gross. So now <laughs> I'll just drop these in the water. You want them to be like little pillows, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But how long do they take to cook? Um, it's about a minute. They start minute to float. 30. Yeah, when they float, and okay. then I'll let them sit for like an extra ten seconds mm -hmm. just to make sure. And when, when I cook them in the pan, they're going to cook a little bit more too. So. Okay. Uh, when I'm, I'm just going to let them dry before I cook them in the pan because if you put them in water then it's going to stick. Oh okay. When they're like this you just want them you know slightly slightly cooked. Just, oh okay sure. Yeah. Still a little tacky. Yeah. So I'm going to just stir again. Potato gnocchi is my favorite. Yeah mine too. Yeah. I think it's the best way to make it. So I'll take my pecorino sauce which is basically a bechamel with All pecorino. Right. Start with a roux and add milk. Yeah start with the roux, add milk, um, bay leaf, I add thyme mm -hmm. and then um, a little nutmeg or clove or something like that. Uh, just nutmeg, no clove. Okay. Usually you put, you know, your onion and, and your nutmeg and your clove. And, um... Kind of mimics the nutmeg that we put in the gnocchi dough. Exactly. Okay, so I'll get my pan hot. You want to start off with a pretty high flame. Okay. The sauce, I'm going to heat on low. You just want to warm that through? Yeah, and especially since cream, it will burn easily, too. So I'll take, um... Extra virgin olive oil. Usually you don't need to cook with extra virgin olive oil, but I like to for the gnocchi, just to give a little bit extra flavor. A little extra flavor, yeah. yeah. And you want to, you can put it quite a bit because the gnocchi will soak it up. Okay. So just enough to coat the bottom. You don't, I don't so wait for it to get hot. So you're almost going to fry them up a little, or do you want to get a little exactly. crisp on you're the Exactly. You're going to fry them, you're going to have a nice crisp golden brown color okay. on the outside. And then, um, you know, that really gives a nice texture to the yeah, dish. Yeah, a little contrast to the, the soft inside. Exactly, yeah. Very nice. You already hear him start to fry, which is mm -hmm. a, one of my favorite sounds. Yeah, same here. And I'm just going to let him sit until I see, you'll see the edges Can you start get a to brown. brown. Yeah, and I'll just move the pan like this. Okay. Um, I'm scary just to, um, just to rotate it. Okay. Because it looks like this one's heating more in the back. Take this. So, it's gently warm enough. Yeah. yeah. 
At this point, you can see they're starting to brown. Yep, so what great. I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, shallots and garlic. Nice. Yeah. Love shallots. Yeah. It's a rendered pancetta. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a no. little bit. No, this, bit of, is, this is totally a, totally a comfort dish. Yeah, definitely. So, That's my kind of thing. You know what? So. Let's just do the rest of it. Why not? Yeah, why not? Throw it all in. There's yeah. no reason to be shy here. No. So I'll just toss that around. And then I can add the spinach. And you'll see it too, is like once it starts to cook, the spinach will kind of fry. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah. I'm going to take a little salt and pepper, season everything. Smells great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the wild mushrooms, which are uh, cremini, shiitake, and um, uh, oyster mushrooms. Okay, so nice depth of flavor there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little butter just to uh, finish it. Then I'll take the pecorino sauce. I'll drizzle it over the top. This is a little gilding the lily, huh? Mm. All right. Beautiful. Chef Dan, I had such a great time with you in the kitchen today. I'm going to pour you a little bit of beer. Okay, and if you wouldn't you. mind serving me up some of that gnocchi, I'm Not a dying to try it. Not a problem. It smells so good. Thank you. Great. I'm digging right in. Right. Those are so light, I could sleep on it, <laughs> like a pillow. Oh man. Chef, thank you so much for being with us today. I had a great thank time you. with you in the kitchen thank and you. I definitely learned a lot too. serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner at three locations throughout the city. Our specials change bi-weekly and have never been repeated, so treat yourself to a unique meal at Sabrina's Cafe.